Well, that breaking news, a manhunt for the gunman who shot two officers in Waukesha County, and this is causing a major impact in Delafield. Hannah Hilliard has an update for us right now. Hannah. Yeah, Sheldon and Sinead, so within the last 30 minutes, we have been provided with more information on this suspect, on this gunman involved in the shooting of two officers here in Delafield this morning. We have a photo of the alleged suspect. The police chief here in Delafield has told me his name is Nathaniel Benton, and we have learned that he is wanted for attempted murder in North Dakota and, and that he was last seen here in the area um, near uh, Interstate 94 and Highway 83 in the city of Delafield uh, running away from the scene here. Now, you may have gotten another alert on your phone, another emergency alert, and it gives you more of a description of Benton. Six feet tall, 215 pounds, blue eyes and brown hair. As we've been saying all morning, he was uh, seen possibly wearing khakis, a sweatshirt, and a flat-brimmed hat. Uh, there has been an emergency alert for several hours now in place, asking people here in Delafield to uh, shelter in place, uh, to not leave uh, your home if you can, uh, just because this person is still out there. There. I do also want to quickly say that the police chief here in Delafield got a phone call. He says from one of the officers that was injured here this morning says that he's out of the trauma unit, um, so is improving. And in that sense, uh, we have been told that both the officers, one from Delafield, the other from Heartland, are expected to survive, are expected to be okay. Of course, we will continue to follow this situation. There are a lot of road closures here in the area that you're going to want to be mindful of, so be sure to stay with us on air and online. Sheldon and Trené. All right, glad to get that update that one of the officers is out of the hospital. Thank you, Hannah. Let's get to Matt in uh, News Chopper 12 about those road closures. Yeah, we're looking down at the scene right now, and uh, you can see where the shootout went down. There's about a dozen uh, evidence markers between the uh, fr front door and a couple of vehicles here. Then there's a dozen more on either side of the vehicle. There's also a few right between two vehicles, and this is where all of it went down. Now, the freeway is closed both directions between SS and C. You'll want to take either one of those south to Highway 18 to get through the area because even though you see some cars moving through here, a lot of these are uh, police vehicles that are moving through. You're going to find closures if you don't head south to 18. That is the easiest way to get through.